New no. objective: rescue the gnome. Up there, please help me, please. Where is okay. that gnome? I'm coming. I'm coming. Uh. More, more. Uh. To dodge, move L in the direction you want and press P. Okay. I'm not going to give you a chance to hit me. Your friend, though, can hit me. He went down rather easy. Worn leggings. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I, if you hadn't come along, I, well, I've seen you before. On the slab, you... You were dead. It worked. By the dome, it worked. You're alive. Um, I am alive. Thank you for asking. Uh, well, uh, you died. I don't know how or even where, but your body was remade in the Well of Souls, and somehow it worked. The Well restored your soul to your body, and it worked. We must get you to Professor Hughes right away. He'll have questions for you. I want to know who Hughes is. I do have some questions myself, of course. But I also want to know who those attackers were. Oh my, you don't know? Or perhaps the process damaged your memory. They are the Tawatha Deo, the enemies of all the young races. We've never seen them this far inland. Not even during the invasion. I, I don't know why they are here. Hughes may have the answer to that as well. You must stay alive and reach him. Who is Hughes? Professor Formerus Hughes. The Well of Souls is his life's work. The Tuatha are coming into the lower levels. If we hurry, we should be able to beat them to the top. Take these. They'll help keep you safe long enough to get to Hughes. Now, let's get going! First things first, I really should get rid of that you have acquired armor pop up. It's kind of intruding on the screen. Where is Hughes? He'll be in his study on the ground floor of the tower. At least, I hope he's there. And safe. Okay. Oh my. You don't know? Uh, perhaps that we've never Skip seen that one. this far inland. Already asked that one. I, I don't know why they're here. Uh, death. I wish I could tell you more. You showed no signs of life when we removed your new body from the well's waters. We just put it in the furnace room with the others. We would have never done that if we knew. I'm glad to hear it. If you'd known I was alive, you wouldn't have dumped me in that pit. Now, what is the Well of Souls? The Well of Souls is just ahead. You'll see. And, and it works. It restored you to life. There will be plenty of time to explain later. We've got to get going. Fair enough. Goodbye, then. Let me get this door, and we can be on our way. First things first, armour. Tattered shirts. Ragged leggings, worn leggings. Plus 5% critical hit damage. Okay, new stuffs. What else have we got? Uh, those disposal notes and some healing potions I get the feeling I'm going to be using those before long right now let's oh doesn't doesn't he want to go first and lead the way I guess not first things first in true RPG fashion Break everything that's breakable. Because there's usually stuff in it. Oh, hey, a chest. What's in here? Old boots. Well, it is a bit early to expect any decent loot, I'll have to say that. Uh, what have we got? Plus 12% critical hit damage. Okay, and the boots. 
I have just noticed I've been running around barefoot in these caverns. That was a sensible thing to do. Anyway, let's just press forward. Well, that place looked pretty nice before the bombs did that. They could only have been bombs. Looks like it's still working though, the streams haven't been affected, but a success? If it's a success, then why does it sound like the souls are screaming in pain? Something's definitely not right in what's happening in there. But still, that's going to take a lot of effort to fix, assuming those um, pillars were as important as I think they were. They certainly looked important. Some objects can be destroyed by weapons. Wooden crates, barrels and porcelain urns are all smashable. I notice it takes its sweet time in telling you that. Hey, yeah, a little chest here. What's in here? Flimsy greaves, some more gold and some lock picks. Okay, fair enough. Hmm, greaves, that'll be some new armour. Oh, their legs. Block efficiency. I prefer the critical hit damage, to be honest. So I'll just hang on to that one. Uh, another chest through here. Now, what's in this one? Hey, something for my hands. Let's just put that on. Another 5% to critical hit. Yep, that's all well and good. Well, looks like the way I came in has been blocked. Which is lovely. Loot weapons work. What's in here? An iron kite shield. But, but, but what about all those bows and swords and things there? Come on. Wait. Do you hear something? No, I don't hear something, except that I guess I should equip that shield now. Okay. Oh, it's one of those bombs. LT to block enemy attacks. Well, that was easy. Okay, that was not so easy. That sword was bouncing around a bit strangely. I'd like to be able to take one of their swords, but it seems I can't. Oh well, let's see, uh, pick up longbow. Quite a longbow. Press start to learn how to equip a secondary weapon. Okay. Now equip the longbow. Yes. Eight physical damage, three piercing damage. 
Hey, the sword has piercing damage on it as well. That's good. Okay, apparently I have five arrows. Nope, let's just land in the smash crates. They've already seen us. Awesome, charge shots. There we go. So I use up a couple of arrows. Oh. One second. You're out of ammo. Limited supply of arrows. Arrows refill automatically. Okay. Well, that's good, actually. Don't see where the arrows are coming from, but it does mean that I can use them quite well. Let's see. Get this one. Yep, that went well. What's in here? Tattered documents, lockpicks, and gold. Nothing really useful. Unless the documents have something, that is. Tattered documents are too faded to be of value. Okay, it's just a random item then. Rusty leg plates on that one. Um, rusty leg plates. Increased block efficiency. But again, I still prefer the critical hits. Hmm. Oh well. Daggers, eh? Seems to be giving me quite a range of weapons this early on. Well, I want to keep... Um, I want to keep the bow in my secondary weapon. I want to keep some range. So that means swapping out the sword. Mm. Plus two from piercing. Minus three physical. Ah, okay. Upper right there, little sword icon. Shows total damage. So it's only trading one point of damage to use a very fast weapon over an average speed weapon. I can live with that. Yep, definitely past that. Shorter reach, though. 